Hi, this video shows the solution for uh, reading an Excel file by a Excel uh, add-in and they are reading the value 2 because this always makes a problem and then uh, sometimes you get the error message the double type, uh, the type double cannot be implicit, implicitly converted uh, to string. Um, Okay, now first I show you how this works. I have here a uh, default an add-in programmed uh, and developed and I'm reading those cells. And now when I do that, my program gets the message here, uh, Microsoft C Sharp Runtime Binder, Runtime Binder Exception. The, uh, the double type uh, could not be implicit uh, converted to string. So this happens when we are here in our cell, when I'm reading a cell, an Excel cell. So this is done by, uh, we have here the ribbon bar and ribbon bar is uh, with interop Excel. Uh, so this is a VSTO add-in. And now I say, okay, here my worksheet is the actual, uh, the active sheet. And then I say, okay, read my file. So I want that cell, Excel. So this is a range, Microsoft Office Interop Excel range. My cell is a range of type range uh, and then used range. And then this cell of this address, take this off away. We go into, so we will watch this and the uh, watch one. So we have here the used range of this current cell. Now we go there and say, okay, this is shift F9. We explore it, take this away. Now it is what, this is watch one. And you see there is, now you see this is the watch one. And in watch one, now we have the cell we are in row two, column one, and you see there a dy dynamic view that there is no val value two. Normally you read the value in value two. Well, all what you have there is you always have the formula, formula, formula local. This works as a string, but it uh, creates an error if there is only, if there's a formula inside. So we, you don't have a string then. So you need value two, but you see there's system reflection, target invocation, exception. Okay, so this doesn't work. And it seems that you may not uh, solve it, but you all what you have to do, you have to, do, you, to type dot to string. So this is not available in, uh, in the IntelliSense. But as soon as you do this, then you will get the value. Now we start that stuff again. And now we're here, close it. We go to our add-in, we start it. And now you see the uh, program is running perfect and it shows the values of this uh, cell one a1, B1, so the L, A1, B1, and then there's a, a R1 formula, what's, what I've written in there. So this is uh, row one, column one, there's a string, there's a formula. And when you type here, for example, when there's a formula, you will see that's the string and not the, value, uh, not <coughs> not the formula. And you will find this code, <coughs> excuse me, at my, code page there I have here my under code doc the, the link will be below the video and there's also the code uh, for the reading of that stuff so you have there uh, open the current worksheet and then give me the current cell of address which is used range cells and then row and uh, row number and column number and then you get the value two. Sometimes if this, if there's no problem, you can take the value two. Uh, but if there is an integer, then it can co convert. So that's why you should always run it like this one. And if you have questions, 
make a subscription and then call me.